My name is JC Park. I'm the author of the textbook Back to the Future and also the creator of the YouTube channel JC Parkland. Well, I'm very interested in dental suture techniques and I perform a lot of studies on sutures and recently I've published a study on hidden act suture uh, which is the ideal one for a very rich preservation. People ask me why I'm so interested in dental suture techniques and this case was the reason. I finished implant surgery like three or five minutes and I asked my resident to place two simple sutures in mesial and distal and that was it. But in fact, I realized that he did not perform sutures in a proper way because after 10 days, the flaps were on top of the healing abutments and there were inflammation and the flaps were all flabby and moving around. I wanted the a situation on the left side, the flaps are uh, well pressed down and uh, surrounding the healing abutments and there is no dead space. But in fact, my resident did on the right side. The flaps were on top of the healing abutments, there was already inflammation and the flaps were dying and there is a huge dead space. So I realized that if we can do the right suture technique, the healing will be enhanced. But if we do not perform a proper suture technique, the results will be worse than the average. So let's look into this case. I prefer to place the slightly lingualized incision because I I like to put the keratinized tissue on the buccal side as much as possible. So after implant placement, I kind of uh, uh, fold the keratinized tissue and tuck it in under the healing abutments. If you place the suture to stabilize that, I guarantee that the patient will have a lot of keratinized tissue on the buccal aspect. But if you just perform this simple interrupted suture, we, as you know, Healing abutments are very slippery and the flaps will go up and climb up on top of the healing abutments just like my resident did. So in this case, we need some other suture techniques which has the vector to press down the flaps such as crisscross suture. So from this YouTube playlist, you will see many suture techniques and I'm going to share many suture techniques for with different vectors. Horizontal, vertical, pulling, and everting. After multiple implant cases, we know that uh, surgeons can be tired, but starting from the medial aspect, you do one by one and you get a little bit uh, curious. What is the purpose of the suture? I just close the flap and that's it. But in fact, after 10 days, the healing is different. If you pay a lot of attention on the suture, on the medial aspect, the healing is nice. But look at the distal aspect. You didn't care much about the suture and the flaps on top of the healing abutments. There is inflammation and plaque accumulation. The flaps are moving and you know that the healing will take longer period in a distal aspect than the medial aspect. So. The definition of the suture, if I ask the definition of the suture to students, the students tell me it's about closing the flap. Yes, the sutures can close the flap, but in fact, the sutures can pull the flaps to the desired position and stabilize them until they have an optimal healing. So suture is not about just moving around the flaps. You can move around the flaps to the desired position and you can stabilize them and by doing that you can have an optimal healing. So suture is about healing. Let's look at this case. After implant placement I performed a simple suture but the flaps are inverted and they are meeting uh, butt to butt, butt joint meeting. So after 10 days what can you expect? optimal healing. Can you see the incision line? No, because the flaps were inverted and they were meeting connective tissue and connective tissue, after 10 days, 
the two flaps are already one flapped. So it's an optimal healing can be expected from this beautiful suture techniques. So from our series of uh, uh, YouTube videos that I'm going to share today, so you will see many, many suture techniques and the principles. So please buckle up because we're going to have a trip to the back to the suture. Thank you very much.